Many long years have passed since we Chozo first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the belief of many Chozo sages that the truths of the universe hide within the tumbling currents of time's flow. Even as we search for answers there, however, we find illumination in other unexpected places. We know not how the ability has come to us. But recently, many Chozo have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions of past and future. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burgeoning harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps, finally, the universe's secrets are becoming known to us. Hello, welcome back to Metroid Prime. Cutscene! That was fast. <gasps> it's the baby. Wait for me, flying baby. I must murder you. Bop. So now that we have the boost ball, we can, I think, I don't know if there's a place in Magmore Caverns or if there's a thing back at, um, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll just explore. That's the part of, uh, part of Metroid Prime. So in case you haven't noticed in the webcam, I did have to change out my headphones. The other headphones apparently having some dry rotting issues and it like was flaking all over my face. I just nasty. So I might have to buy, I don't know if you can get like replacement uh, covers for that or whatever. Oh wait, here's the part that I was trying to do. Yeah! I did it! Woohoo! I got a new energy tank. So it makes four already. I'd say we're, uh, we're pretty awesome right now. Dash. Two missiles. Where would I even... They're shooting at me. They're not hitting me. I'm oh, good, my missiles are low. JK. Owie! Lava's hot. Jerk! I know that there were some two boost ball areas back in the temple. Maybe that's Owie where we want to go. I think this is the wrong way. I th think we can't actually go this way yet. This way is to an area that we have not. Ah, ah. I was going to say something, but I completely forgot about it. I'm so competent at this. Shut your mouth! Shush you! No! There we go. No! I did! Don't get- Oh! Ow! No, 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 <sighs> Annoying. Uh, do we want to go up that way? I mean, I guess we can. I don't see the harm in it. It's 
Go above a precarious dangly platform. It's a precarious missile tank. And we would drop down here for some reason. Finally killed that thing. Or one of the things. Now we got this stupid thing to go. Take that! Air condition feels good in my house. Is this no? We can still keep going. We'll keep going till uh, till we stop. Yeah, there wasn't really much we could do back at Panager Drifts. I think all we could get right now is the Morph Ball. I thought we could get something else. It doesn't seem like I can get there without a, another certain item. Here we go. This might be... Yep. This is exactly what we want. It's the perfect. We want to go this way. We can't mess up or we'll have to go through the whole thing again. Yay. I believe this is where I need to go. Meh. Meh. Aha! Cannot hide from me. It's a little missile launch. Ow! Oh no! Uh, what am I to do but to blow you all up with missiles? Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. So we're still trying to chase after Ridley. Uh, going this way. Got a, got a, got a, I know we got a, got that dude. Yep. What? What? Through there. Through there. We got this little, little beautiful, ugly thing to deal with. There we go. It's like a little mini flock of horrors. Okay, oh yes. We do go this way, it's perfect. No wait, not that way. Over here. You die. There we go. No! I do not care for you. I do not care for you and your 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 weirdness. There we go. Alright. Come on. We can do it. Don't you... Jerk. Don't mess with the bounty hunter. I can blow up a planet. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Who the... <laughs> Who the? How the? Why the? Up, oh, jump. Don't want to miss that. And jump again. Don't want to miss that. And then, hooray! Best power up in the game. Right here. We could do the jumpy jumps. Unlike in the other games where Samus gets her space jump, uh, this one only gives you a double jump. The space jump usually allows you to jump infinitely, but doing like flips and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, but in here it's just a double jump. So, now that I saved, we can go actually go this way. I think. Yep, we should. Alright, I was just going all the way. I was being a Let me know in the comments section what you think of this series so far. Do you find me annoying? Do you not find me funny? 
at all? Do you just do you just hate me because you're a troll and you're just going through and being a hateful hater? Uh, that's all perfectly fine. I'm open to constructive criticism. Now these jerks, I'll just shoot little homing needles at you, which is weird. Creature with homing missiles, like that doesn't make any sense. Right, and we get uh, oh, get a cutscene. That's what we get. This is the impact crater. This is where the meteor spoken of in the log books struck. And so the space pirate data right here. It's a talking about the Chozo artifacts. And we'll learn about those more in a moment. This is kind of the point where Samus's journey takes a takes a detour because this whole time she's been chasing after Ridley and the space pirates because apparently there's still space pirates on the planet this is why Ridley's just kind of doing his own thing but this is where it kind of gets the second part and kind of, oh yep the music changed <laughs> it was like it got quiet it's because the music changed this right here is a very important thing that we need. This is the Artifact of Truth, the first of twelve. Collect it, then scan the totems here for clues on the locations of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. Oh look, I got 87% of the logbook entries and 17% uh, items. What am I missing from the logbook? So yeah, here I got the, the logbooks and stuff like that. Okay. And so now, get a bunch of clues to where the other artifacts would be, which most of them we can't even get to without having all of the power-ups. So we're gonna go around. We're gonna... Did I... I mean... Did... See, some of them are not open because we need more artifacts. We'll come back here when we have artifacts. All right, they're just gonna stay there. So, uh, interesting uh, little birds here. Speaking of birds, let's talk about the Chozo for a bit. In case you don't know, the Chozo are like a, some, I heard, a, heard a song say this once, they're kind of like an Indian bird race, but they're super, super, super advanced. Like, they gave Samus her power suit and everything. They pretty much raised her, you know, after Ridley kind of murdered her uh, parents right in front of her. They, uh, they took her in and, uh, gave her Chozo military training as well, which, uh, <laughs> I'd say, if you see another M, the military training actually comes, you know, handy when she's swinging around a giant lizard. Now, I can't remember. I think we actually need to go back to Penager Drifts, I believe. Mmm. Yeah. I think that's what I gotta do. Technically, um, really, we could go back to the Chozo Ruins and see if we can get anything there with our space jump. But we don't really have any new kind of power ups besides the space jump and the boost ball. So it wouldn't really be of any benefit. We won't go through the door that goes that way just yet. We'll probably go back down to uh, the transport. Is it this way? I think so. We're going the right way? Yeah, should be right. Nope. Nope. You all fail at life. So, anyways, they decided to come here after. Um, they were a nomadic race. 
And so they decided to settle down here because they liked it. And then, uh, you know, a couple centuries go by. And then a meteor hits. Pretty much dooming them all. One thing I don't know, and if you know, let me know. It's, uh... It's weird, because the Chozo, them being all smart, decide... Some of them decide to stay here on the home planet. To... To basically die. Which... I don't know if it's some kind of, like, honor thing, or... They had no choice, or... I think it's basically the space pirates came in and kind of messed him up because they decided they didn't want to be a warring race anymore. So for a long time, the Chozo, uh, with the battle suit, you know, with their battle suits and stuff, just waged war and just like conquered planets and junk like that. But they decided that that wasn't the that was not the life for them. But uh, we'll talk. I'll talk about some more lore if I can think of it. And I actually just thought of a question that I just. I totally forgot I was going to ask. Anyways, until next time, stay fancy.